hi, uh, this is a, a very bad day, but we come home to a little bit of goodness. Uh, there's a comic bento sitting on our doorstep. Um, this one is technically only for the girlfriend, but um, she doesn't want to do an unboxing video. So um, I got to do it, even though, you know, I'm, I'm not as pretty as she is. Mm. But um, without further ado, all I did so far is cut the three pieces of tape that were holding this flap down. All right, and then let's peek to see what Comic Bento has given us this month. And if you don't know what Comic Bento is, it's just a subscription box, same as Loot Crate. But you just get cool comic books and bubble wrap delivered right to your door. So that's fun. That, that's the first thing I saw when I opened the box. Sorry. Mm -hmm. There's a bag of goodness here. Comes all sealed in a, a plastic bag. Let's see if I can rip this open real quick. But, go oh ahead. Yeah. Got a strong arm it. Okay, so the first thing I see here is something called the King. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. You can. Looks cool. You can actually make it out on the video. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, it looks cool. It says Rich Kos Koslowski, written by or illustrated by or both. I, I don't know. Looks okay. I'm I'm not a real fan of Elvis Presley, so kill me. But um, made by Top Shelf. The second thing we have is a Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon is cool. Eric Larson created character, and this one is written illustrated by him. I'm sure. Oh, it looks like there was something about. Issue number one in here of Savage Dragon. Oh, they just got like poster pin up, so I just recognized the illustration from it as being from the first issue there. Mm. But this looks actually pretty cool. It's called Baptism of Fire from Image Comics with a uh, list price of 15 bucks. Probably not something that we would have went out of our way to, to get, but. I'm excited to have it, mm -hmm. if she's not. And then the next thing I see here is from Valiant Comics. This is Bloodshot. It looks cool. This okay. I know practically nothing about the character. I just know that um, he was one of the Valiant comics from the 90s that... Um, I did try to collect like the first 12 of like each of the up or each of the series. I, I really preferred Exo Man War just because not like I read any of them. I, I know a little bit of the story behind Magnus Robot Fighter, uh, Archer and Armstrong and uh, Exo Man War. But um, oh Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, I, I read a couple of those too, but didn't really read any of them, but I know a little bit of the stories of those ones. But Bloodshot, I know nothing. But Looks I mean, he can't like really be outside. too bad of a character, right? Can he? I don't know. You tell me. Comment section below. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing that we have here, it says, from Kevin Smith's Green Hornet. That's Kevin Smith? Uh, I don't it know. It says it on the front somewhere. Yeah, it just says, from the pages of Kevin Smith's Green Hornet. Blood Ties. So maybe Kevin Smith wrote this. Sounds like it is. I mean, it, the illustration looks pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. But uh, this is another character that I don't really know a damn thing about. I'm going to read them anyway just to see if I like them. That's a, One thing that's cool about this is give you some different ones. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Kevin Smith only started the series and this isn't the beginning of it. It said from the pages. I mean, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. But in the back, though, it shows previews of the other two, and it just says Kevin Smith on the top. So maybe Kevin Smith started oh, the series, maybe. and then a new writer took it over. So that's it for the books. And then there's uh, a little Happy Holidays and Welcome little thing. Oh, it has a list of everything that we got. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it was Green Hornet, Arthur, Andy Parks. Johnny Zagarians is the illustrator. Yeah. But it's cool. It's got a little explanation of everything. And then there's another card that says Happy Holidays from, uh, from Comic Bento and Valiant Entertainment. And we can get a free digital copy of, of Valiant issues of what's listed here. So that's kind of cool. It's got a code for it. I'm going to use it so you can't see it. Mm. And then there's a little teeny little dinky sticker. Little comic bento sticker. It's really kind of cute. So I'm mm -hmm. going to keep that. And then this is an empty comic bento box here. So run down again is uh, the Green Hornet. Kevin Smith's Green Hornet continued. Valiant Blood Ties. Blood Bloodshot. I don't know why I just said that. Because that, that one says Blood Ties on the Green Hornet one. Please. Oh. Yeah, Green Hornet Blood Ties. Blood Shot. Whoa. Shot Tie is this. Oh, no. Uh, this is Baptism of Fire. A little cover thing. I think they look cool. They do look cool. And then the king. All right. Well... I definitely suggest getting this because at the worst case scenario, I mean, if you resell these books, I mean, you're still, they're great condition. They're brand new, obviously. So, I mean, and it's... And how much was it? It was like 20 bucks, right? For everything. Yeah. Yeah. The, this is, is very cheap considering what you get out of it. You know, I don't know exactly what it was. Twenty. Probably one of those. Or maybe like even one of those shipping. is worth 20 for a brand new... Yeah. You know, I mean, this one's fourteen ninety five. This one, the king is nineteen ninety five, right? Uh, Savage Dragon fourteen ninety five. One book is worth twenty. Valiant nine ninety nine, and then the Green Hornet is sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, and they and they actually look new. really cool. Yeah, they do not look lame at all. So I, I do suggest getting the the free sticker as well. It's worth it to me. <laughs> That's, I'm keeping that, babe. You're excited about the sticker. <laughs> yeah, oh, babe loves the stickers. Mm -hmm. Um, but that that's it, I guess. Uh, I do want to thank you for stopping by, watching, checking out what we got, and see you next time.